Yo, what's poppin' YouTube? It is Bozzy coming back with a brand new video. Now, I just got this brand new Ledger Nano S, so I decided I was gonna make a complete tutorial on how you set up the Ledger Nano S, as well as how you can buy Bitcoin on Cash App and then transfer it to your Ledger device. And if that sounds interesting to you, then you clicked on the right video. And if you like this brief little unboxing I filmed for the intro, please smash that like button. It really does mean a lot to me. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any future cryptocurrency videos. And let's not waste any more time and hop right into this video. So the first thing we need to do to set up our new wallets is go to start.ledgerwallet.com. Now the next thing we need to do is download the Ledger Live app. So we can scroll down and click download. Now we do have to select what operating system we have. I have Windows so I'm going to select Windows. All right, so now opening the app, we're greeted. Welcome to Ledger Live. Let's start by choosing how Ledger Live looks. We can choose from three different options, light, dusk, or dark. I think I'm personally gonna go with dark, so let's get started. Now we have a few different options, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna click set up a new device. Now we have to choose which Ledger device we have. I have a Ledger Nano S, so I'm gonna select that option. Now it's going to want us to create a pin for our new device, so let's connect it to our computer and we'll get greeted with this nice little welcome. The device overall is pretty simple to operate. You have a left and a right button which you use to navigate your device, or you could press both buttons at the same time to select or confirm something. So press the right button until you get to this screen and then press both buttons at the same time. Now press both buttons at the same time again to select a pin code. You can use the left or right button to change the number and then press both buttons at the same time to confirm a number. Your pin could be up to 8 digits long and of course I'm not going to show you my pin so let's skip to the next step. Now you're going to have to set up a 24 word recovery phrase. These are basically like a randomly generated password to get access to your wallet if anything goes wrong. So you don't want to let anyone know your recovery phrase. In the box this device comes in you'll get three little cards where you can write down your 24 word recovery phrase like so and then after you have gone through and written down all 24 words it is going to ask you to confirm your recovery phrase do this by clicking the right button until the correct word corresponds with the number then press both buttons at the same time to confirm. Now after you've confirmed all the words to your recovery phrase, your device will process for a few seconds, then your device is set up and ready to go. Hopping back over to the Ledger Live app, we just have to answer some quick security questions, and then we gotta make sure our device is genuine by keeping it connected to the computer and pressing allow on the device. And now that your device is connected to the app and your device is genuine, you're all set and ready to go. You can create a password for your Ledger Live app if you would like. You can choose if you want to share your data with Ledger to help them improve the device and the security. And now you can finally open the Ledger app, except you will have to agree to the terms of service. Now we have to press go to manager so we can download some apps. Now you have to download whatever app for whatever currency you want to store on your ledger device. I'm going to be storing Bitcoin so I'm going to install the Bitcoin app. And then we're going to have to add a Bitcoin account. The base settings is fine so just press continue. And then you're going to have to go back to your device and press both buttons at the same time to run the app. Then it's going to take a few seconds to download to your device, but after that, your account is added. Now you could add another account for an altcoin like Ethereum or something else. But for the purpose of this video, I'm just going to keep it simple and just stick with Bitcoin. Now it's going to take you to this screen where you can add Bitcoin to your wallet. I'm going to show you how to do this using Cash App. Cash App is one of my favorite places to purchase Bitcoin. So we're going to hop over to Cash App, I'll buy some Bitcoin and then show you how to transfer it to your Ledger device. 
I'm sure most of you already have Cash App, but if you don't, you can go to the App Store on your smartphone and download it now. As you can see, the interface is really clean. I already have some Bitcoin in my Cash App wallet. I'm going to be purchasing some more for this video. Let's go with $50. They are going to charge a small fee. But now all I have to do is swipe up and I will purchase the Bitcoin and it will be added to my Cash App wallet, as you can see here. And then you want to click on the little banking tab, select your wallet, mine's up on the screen right now, and then you want to send Bitcoin to your ledger device. So now I get to pick how much Bitcoin I want to send. I'm currently going to send everything I have on my Cash App wallet because I would like to store it all on my new ledger device. Hopping back over to the ledger app, I'm going to click receive Bitcoin and then it's going to pop up with my Bitcoin wallet. So I just carefully entered that code into my cash app and then press next. Now my Bitcoin withdrawal has been initiated. As you can see, my Bitcoin wallet on cash app says zero. Now I just confirm it on my ledger device and the Bitcoin is officially on my ledger nano S. And now that I click on my account, I can see that the Bitcoin has been successfully transferred to my ledger device. In the world of cryptocurrencies, there is two types of wallets to store them. One is a hardware wallet and the other is a hot wallet. There is some code in every wallet that is your private key. Now with a hot wallet, which is an online wallet like my Cash App wallet, a hacker could gain access to my private key and then therefore steal all my cryptocurrency. But with a hardware wallet or a physical device like the Ledger Nano S, the private key is stored only on the device and it never leaves. So therefore a hacker can never gain access to your device unless they got a hold of your device along with your recovery phrase. Making a hardware wallet a lot better choice to store large amounts of cryptocurrency because we all remember what happened with Mt. Gox. And that's going to do it for this video, so don't forget to smash that like button if you found this video helpful. Comment down below if you're going to be accumulating Bitcoin and if you have a hardware wallet for yourself. And don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss a brand new video from me. I post videos about the stock market, financial education, and cryptocurrency, so if that sounds good to you, make sure you subscribe and come join the community. I think that's going to do it. So stay safe and I'm out. Deuces.